right, guys, we're back. Like I promised, we have a Scream deck. I got her with tokens because this week's Spotlight's not good because I have both Man Thing and what's the other one? Anyways, I don't want the variants. Oh, yeah. uh, Moby. I, I have both of them. I don't want the various and I want to use valuable Spotlights to risk with her. So I just got her for tokens and Scorn's going to be the next one. But anyways, Rev's here in the intro. Rev, this is the auto build and it's actually very similar to what's out there right now. Looks reasonable. I know some people are cutting Craven, but that's fine. We'll put him in there. Uh, I don't have Cannonball. That's something I really want to get because he's actually been very popular lately. So, yeah, he's a good card. Uh, White Widow's just an excellent uh, drop. You're right. Awesome. Uh, Darkhawk could kind of split that bad boy. Even the Devil Dinosaur is pretty cool. That Black Panther, though, dude. Look at that. The best. And I love the new changes because, yeah, look, good. you could make it look uh, like you split it even though – if you see, only have it to the very first level. Yeah. So. Anyways, let's get on to the ladder rev and see how we're gonna do with Scream. See if she's uh, going to be good or not. Oh, this might be a bot. Every time I they scream, have... you scream, we all scream for yeah, Scream. This is probably a bot. All right, so most people. Say... Oh, this is turn six though. Most people say you put King Ping left or right. Uh, you want to put him right? I'm not sorry, left? Um, sure. All right, then we got her on. Oh, we got an actual... Yeah, we should, have, we should have plenty of time to mess around with Ball, right? Oh, this looks like it is a hella deck. Hello. All right, so it's a bot, though, so most likely it'd be okay. Okay, that could... Mm, since we don't really have... Sc we could put screen down because we do have Homegirl, or we could get White Widow going. Hmm... I kind of think we do this, Rev, because we have Homegirl in hand. If we didn't, I would say wait. Okay. Yeah. Let's, I guess we could put her mid. That's fine. Yeah. So the, the problem with this matchup probably is that Ella doesn't really care where they put their cards, right? True. All right. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's a little bit too so, late. So in, in, in theory, Throne Room's a free win for them, right? Yeah. So do you want to move something there just to get this going? Move mid, or well, it could be ruined I think, too. I think we go. I think we go mid. Yeah, I don't think we ever win throne room against Hella, yeah, right? Never. Well, it could get ruined. We'll I see in a we, second. We focus on the other lands. And already, guys, she's at a good value. A two four is really good. Plus, Morales is cheap. Yeah, so you, can... you played a two four and a three five. Yeah, not bad, right? All right, Rev. We have. I kind of think we kind of get her going. I guess we could do this to kind of put him there too. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, Throne Room being destroyed is probably pretty good for us. Right? Yes, sir. Now, the vault's really not going to be anything. So, does for... he have Hellcow? No, Jubilee. Let's hope it low high rolls for us and since bring Hella. Ooh, that's actually really good. Hey, I think the animation's going to be. Oh, Sword, Swordmaster. So this guy doesn't have a optimal Hella deck. Also, there was no Hell Cow. Do we just snap because there's no Luke Cage and there's no Hella on the board? Yeah, I agree. We put Spider Man like to move, right? and then what about putting Craven here? It's a possibility, or we could put a mid. I think we go Craven mid. Yeah, yeah. because Spider Man could go left. You see, that's why I got her, guys, because I I don't play these type of decks normally, and this is a lot of fun. Like Spider Man's, I like him. Nice. Look at this debuffs, guys. Look at that. GG. Nice. And look at she's a 2 6 rev. Oh, there's Hellcow. That's a little bit too little too late. So we most likely won that. Ooh, Magneto? Hmm. Yeah, I like Magneto and just sacrificed right. Yep. He could still lose to Hella, but yeah, it doesn't seem like he's got the optimal Hella build. We. Nice. Uh, he kind of needs two big things to hit. Okay, so Odin. Oh, that was good. Well, that's okay. A little bit too little, too late. Where does... Oh. Where does the Infinite go? That's the real question. Oh, no. Ooh, we won, but barely. Ooh. And also, you know what helped us, Rev? Is not having Luke out there look right here in this look at gg yeah, yeah. 
Wow, what a close yeah, game. Not... So you can't beat Hella. Yeah. But... Yeah, that was not the uh, optimal no. Hella build. Um, Swordmaster and Odin. And there, was, there was some fancy stuff going on in there. <laughs> and we technically... I don't think we have the... Um... I don't know. Hella, Hella's a pretty, like collection level three friendly deck it is yeah. about it. so he might he might have just been messing around i don't know who knows it's still it's not like there's it's not like there's series five stuff in the the deck that people play with a box oh, oh, oh. all right Ooh, is that good for us actually white widow it's not that bad pretty good yeah. oh, so it looks like this is probably the mirror so we definitely white on Ooh, okay, we wiped on here. I don't put yeah. two nasty this is there. Oh, it is a mirror, so whoever has the better build and gets the better draws. And they probably um, have. And we're gonna hey, juggle. Uh, I, no, what do you think about um what do you think about Polaris mid? Or do you want to go Polaris on I guess we could double actually yeah double move on left is pretty good, huh? Yeah, I like it. That's really good. Nice. Now they're locked out. Oh well. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Well, uh um, well. yeah. So much still for locked out. It's still locked out. All right. So, Mr. Um, Rev, I see we do. Are we keeping him out of here? Well, do we put ah, this, quantum tunnels really, really bad for us? Um, we could do this. Is I kind of like this, right? Because they're most likely going to play into that. We could also do this as well. To yeah, sure. so... Okay, yeah, yeah, I like that, I like that. Yep. Oh, but we don't have one review. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter, I think. Alright, move both of them. Pretty nice. Good. Well, that's really craven, good. Though, yeah, we don't have to sucks. go for that. Alright, Mr. Rev. Ooh, we could also do this to secure we win. Right. I mean, left. Yeah. I kind of yeah, like, like that. Because there's no way that they can... Okay, that doesn't really necessarily... Oh, it does hurt us, actually. <laughs> oh, my God. Interesting that that unreal didn't work. All right, Mr. Rev. <sighs> All right. Do we ever um... lose? The only thing is this, but... I don't think that wins. I we, mean, it, we would need we would need to play Spider Man left and hope it bounces mid. Uh, I don't. I don't see us winning. I don't like that, that odds because even then, even then, it like it buffs the scream. The yeah, scream I think a, it's GG. So I think the I think the best we can do is like tie the location. And he's winning a tiebreaker because of quantum. You mean this? I need a button. I think no, it's GG. It. No, I think yeah, it's yeah. tough. Yeah. Yeah, All I right. I, I, I think I think the best we could do is go to tiebreaker, but we lose that. Yeah, them. and I don't think it's worth it. And two, they got their key cards out. And we didn't. Oh, scream! Let's upgrade her. And quantum tunnel is actually kind of bad for this deck. I think. I mean, some decks like Hella might love it, or some greedy decks. But yeah, don't think that's a good thing and i'm gonna try to get cannonball i'll look online to see what other kind of because this is basically the core of this is pretty much it Ooh. all right it's kind of funny because white widow actually helps them right <laughs> uh let's see we're gonna have to play her though uh ooh, oh, two screams I like, I like two screams right but since we don't have any yeah. move yeah let's do that because we have juggernaut coming up we could do juggernaut and center stir and we'll get some value Yeah, if the um if their card hasn't revealed yet, then uh Ooh, that's a nice variant, alright. Alright, so ooh, we could hmm. So Do we ever do her to mess up? 
I kind of like this because they're probably going to go in there, right? So the hmm. the problem with that is he reveals First. before you do. So you'd be giving him extra uh, spots on Sinister, like extra extra cards. Yeah, true. Um, you could I think that. you're playing Polaris on, on Sinister. All right, that's a good idea. And it gets a cheap Morales going too. Ooh, interesting that they... Well, I wonder what they're going to steal. I like that. There's one less. And look at this. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Okay, bo both the Angelas being on one lane kind of... Kind of sucks. Limit the kind options. Of, we could do this. We can... Oh, I don't know if she's good in mid, though. We could do this. Uh, I kind of... And then put this I in there. I kind of like the... Uh, I kind of like the White Widow on Sinister. All right. And then we'll do Mer um, just because that him. limits that limits his uh, options so much. Yeah. yeah, I like that. It limits his ability to actually buff the Angela's a lot of the time, right? Yep. We have on reveal. Ooh, interesting. They're not you gotta interesting. Remember too, arrows arrows ten power now, so like that's pretty respectable. Oh yeah. I see we snap here, Rev. I think we're in a pretty commanding lead. Oh, they got our Craven. That's yeah. not too bad. I kind of like that. Yeah, I like this now. Um, do we do her for 10 in Sinister? I kind of like that too. Because then we have two uh, 10 power on the board. So, or do you the rather... last card he played, the last card he played was uh, Falcon, Falcon, right? Yeah. Uh, we could just go arrow on right. Oh, okay. the lane. And then next turn we play Magneto mid. Uh, I like it. I think. This gets us oh, another no. couple of screens. Oh, he's actually capping it. Yeah. Ooh, do they win that lane? No, they don't. Ooh, they might. Oh, very well. We could actually take it, so that's good. And I say Magneto mids just GG, right? Yep. I don't see how we lose. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Because if he goes right, we get that. If he goes left, he probably gets that. Oh well, he that's cap. Shang. Okay, there's Bishop. Okay, that's a... Oh, what kind of deck is okay. this? Yeah, the, the scary thing was definitely Shang-Chi. Well, GG. They won that. They got the free, but a little bit too little too late. Yeah, I like this deck. And like I said, I don't know if it's optimal. I think most people dropped Craven, so we'll definitely get rid of him eventually. Um, he's actually a staple in it. The dinosaur guy, Juggernaut is. Yeah, the only thing is... Uh, some variants don't run Kingpin, some do, but to, uh, that's something I need to get, is I'm going to save up is for uh, Cannonball, because he's actually a good card, and he's been seeing a lot more play lately, too, so. Yeah. Have you no, been the running into place him? Place for Cannonball? Yeah. Uh, I, see him a lot of, I see him a lot in, like, junk. Yeah. I haven't seen him a ton in, in like, these new movement decks. Okay, this is good. All right, well... Since we've got Mr. Craven, I mean, it's random. And I, we could put him there. We could put King, and we'll see where else we're going to put King Ping. I mean, what other area? I think that's good. I don't think we're going to get a lot of value out of Homeboy. So I like him right. I mean, I'm it's gonna, really yeah. it's really good with Spider-Man. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, you're right. Ooh, Quinchet. Uh, the, right. place where Craven's, the place where Craven's really insane is uh, with Silk. Okay, Kingpin's not that bad for us. Ooh, Scream. I like Scream mid. Okay. All right, our opponent did not play anything else. Okay, so, Mr. Rev, let's look at what we get for the... Hmm. We could do... Oh, I mean, this All is right. a guess. So, I mean, we, we want to move his stuff to the left, so we probably want... The widow mid, right? Yeah. Whoops. We're gonna float here, but it's fine. Ooh, they did go there. Oh, I'm glal. I had on regal, so it doesn't. Ooh. This is useless there. Um I mean we could do this and move it. So 
Staggeron moves right? Am I remembering that correctly? Let me look. Move an enemy to, to, yeah, yeah. to the right. So we could do that. I mean, it gets us synergy. Oh, I just... yeah. He's probably going to play mid, but I don't mind the idea of moving. Yeah. And we don't get to... Oh, and we get our scream going. Ooh, Ireland. Let's see. Oh, collector. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Mm, we're kind of capped out here, Rev. This Crimson Cosmos is really bad. Uh, I guess we could do that. Yeah. And do this. Yeah, I like it. And then we have Magneto for We next. always have the option to play Magneto with no move. Too, Correct. Which is kind of interesting. Oh, this is really good for us. Nice. And especially with Cosmos, that you don't get on reveal. Oh, and cr let's go. I really enjoy this deck. When I get the Cannonball, it'll be even better. But I don't know. I don't don't think it really needs it. But this is a card I've been wanting to uh, get. It's just unfortunately, guys, you know how it is to... um get cards in this game and it's just uh some like scorns coming up and she's something i really really want oh okay, well that kind of sucks yeah scorn's gonna be good yes sir i mean we could sacrifice all the all the cards this this month feel like either really good or at least like niche oh yeah yeah i like it i like that they're printing some interesting stuff we could sacrifice her to you get want white widow left yeah i, I kind of yeah, like that because like she's Unfortunately, gonna take one for the team. We'll uh, we'll sacrifice Scarlett Johansson's sister, <laughs> yes, or, or something. Is Ooh. is White Widow Scarlett Johansson? Is is White is White Widow Black Widow's sister? Is that? I don't know the lore. Is that how oh. that works? Okay, now Rev, I would love to Spider Man, but I think we do this. Oh, we could do Craven yeah. here too. Craven or Scream? What do you think? I think we could wait for Scream because look at these locations. That location is really going to help her. We could do this. Yeah. But, yeah, I like that. Okay. Then we got S Scream. We're going to have to put her out. But we don't... Okay, American Chavez, all right. What do you think about her? Do you like her in her current form? All right, Rev. We could do a couple things. Not as OP as it used to be, for sure. We could do this to get him. Oh, we don't have. Wait, let's do this. Let's get her going. I think. Uh, I think we. Oh, we're gonna float too, though. I don't like. I don't. That. I don't think. I don't think we want it mid because if it moves left, we're like winning that too hard, right? So I think we go. I think we go right. Yeah, and we float too, but it's gonna in the long run be okay. Ooh, Dracula. Okay, let's move Spider Man, and hopefully he goes. I think. Yeah, so I think Spider-Man goes right. Oh, Arrow here is really good, right? It moves Dracula over. But, and we, but don't. Um, well, no, he's going to play other stuff. Because All right. He's revealing first. So. We should float two, though. That kind of I don't of know. It's prob it probably is. It probably is still Arrow. Put her mid? But... Yeah, I, I can. Or if we do that, this, yeah. we get ver guaranteed value with Kingpin and Craven, though. I kind of like that. Right? Okay. okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then there's so argument, maybe to put it. Ooh, yeah, good, ideally Spider-Man. Oh, well, I got rid of hand. He's a sacrifice. All right, he's definitely. All right, so. Ah, it sucks, dude. The nerf. All right, this is good. All right. So she's not gonna win that lane. All right, so. Ooh. Okay, that's okay. Oh, that's actually really good because. All right, does he have anything else in hand right now? Oh, I can't see. Oh, her, let me look. Got Three any. cards. Yeah. Three cards in hand. Okay. So what about this? Um, Does that win it? Yep. I think so. The only thing is Dracula prop. Mm. It, dep it depends on what the... Okay, so the biggest thing he might have in hand is what? Modoc. So if he has Modoc, he goes... Uh, three, two, 
four plus eight is twelve. We would beat that. So you want to do it? Seems seems good, man. I think I like my odds. Yeah, I, hey, I, see, I like this deck, dude. Can. It's you know, arrows nerf kind of kind of sucked right there though because we could have. Okay, all right. Well, we won that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Interesting. Wow. So why did the, they... the Colleen and Hellcow in different lanes was pretty weird. Yeah. Is that a bot? Let's look at their. Maybe I. I don't know. It's hard to tell if it's a bot or not. That that seems kind of sus. Because why wouldn't you leave at least Hellcow for unless they thought they were gonna win the that lane hard? I have no idea, Rev. All right, Red, let's do a split real quick. Oh, thinking of which, I'm tempted to get this. This is actually pretty good value. 1,000 gold, 500. I'm tempted because that's actual real cool variant. I'm not going to lie. Look at that. I don't usually mm -hmm. buy bundles, but what do you think? The only thing is she doesn't see pl much play anymore. So, All right. Uh... Let's see that Annihilus ultimate is sick. Every time it comes up in the shop, I'm so tempted. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Me too. Oh, I don't know. I don't like these splits. I think I'm going to wait, Rev. What do you think? Because I have the variant. I love this. So but it does get it going. I don't know. Let's think about I it. I mean, I, 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 think I've, I think I've told you before, like the play with the, the upgrade shop is, is to, to focus uh, on one. To leave, it, 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 to leave the variant. That you don't uh, like. that you have that you that you don't that you don't want to upgrade at least not right now. Oh, okay. You I'm gonna leave wait. them. You 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 can you can split. Well, you can you can upgrade them to infinite, but you don't split them, and that way they, they don't show up in the shop. And then you get to oh. focus on just like the two or three cards that you actually want to like focus on upgrading. That's a great idea. So I could do so that, this. That that's how that's how I have like amazing like. Oh, that's a great idea. In that case, I'll get rid of this. Stuff. Do will not split him, and I don't have to worry about yeah, him you coming up. You just don't split him, and then that variant of Corvus Glaive never shows up again. Oh, nice! Until you de until you decide to, to split him. If you have other Corvus Glaive, uh, then you could show up. Ah, very cool. All right, Rev, we're um, doing pretty good. You want to do another? The other, sure. Yeah, the other important step to that is uh, if you have enough boosters. To upgrade a card it won't show up in the shop so like you can abuse that by just not upgrading stuff that you don't ah. that you have the, enough boosters for well dark dimensions win the worst so we'll put mr pen right what is it gonna do okay that's not bad believe me that's actually pretty decent you don't have to worry about it uh we put miss wito yeah yondu doesn't seem like it it's played nearly as much as it used to, huh? No, sir. Since we don't have... We do have Spider-Man, um, so I say we put her... Mm, do we care about her being moved, though? Not... Well, mm, not, not necessarily, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I like meta. I like it. Oh, my God. I hope he doesn't steal something good. Cable's been seeing a lot of playing. By the way, guys, that's a... That's a, that's a variant. All right, we do this, get our movement energy engine going, and then we'll put Widow somewhere. I don't know where we'll put her. Widow and Dark Dimension could be kind of sneaky, right? Yes, sir. You're not gonna know it's a. You're not gonna know it's a two power or a two cost five power swing, right? Correct. And by the way, what do you think? Ooh, interesting. A mirror. Okay. With these, interesting build. Yandu's not capable. Not usually in this. All right, good. I kind of prefer it was cable, but that's all good. Oh no! I get my debuff. That's fine. All right, so him. I actually know him. Here's good, but this is good too because it's possible that it could go right and we get kingpin value, right? <laughs> mm, this gets yeah. This gets weird because you're just gonna keep buffing each other's screams. Ah, dude. But in theory, in theory, you're up on points right now. Yeah. So if you just keep going blow for blow, maybe that works for you. I don't, I don't know. Nice, nice. Well, Morales, okay. All right. Well, this is going to be interesting. All right, Rev. 
do we play homegirl here? Um, we could do her later, or we could do. Oh, ah, that's not good because there's nothing in mid to pull. Um, I say we save homegirl in white of for the last. Maybe we put her just here for what about stats. What about Widow in Dark Dimension and Polaris, right? All right, that's a good idea. We just try to cap out Dark Dimension with garbage, right? Yep, and ooh, we get nice value here, and we've won that lane. Where did the... Oh my god, the mirrors! Well, Rev, uh, we won right. We could just put Homegirl there and hope for the best. Or we could put her mid like this with a little bit of a backup. Mm. That's a 14 power. We just, do we just we just stack, right? All right, that's a good idea. So I think the way this works is he, play, he double played in Dark Dimension, right? Yep. Yeah. So they're not so going to the be the last big. card he played is still Morales. Yeah. Not that we're going to move it anyways, but Ooh. I think that's how it works. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Cheeky. That's a, that's a big dodge. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Oh, so sure. he's got the Luke Cage tech. Wow, what a game. And then he silences Luke Cage. What is wow, going on what here? A, I know. By the way, I've seen Enchantress in decks she doesn't belong. Like, destroy, dude. And it's won them games. So it's interesting that Enchantress is starting to cut a creeper away in the meta. Kingpin's been very cool. Yeah, this deck's fun, man. We gotta definitely play. Oh, look, we did move. Uh, how you been doing with your um, your alliance stuff? Look. Pretty good, but man, I my uh, alliance never gets the top reward. Everybody has to basically do all of their missions. Yeah, me too. My last to, to month, get the best alliance reward. Last month happen. we were like literally ninety percent, but it didn't get the home stretch. It's I like this a lot, but the rewards are underwhelming. People, even a lot of content creators, said that these for the effort, it's not worth it. Like for your personal, yeah. especially. I mean, you get a hundred. I mean, look, one hundred and fifty credits plus the boosters. I mean, boosters are so easy to, to come by. So hopefully, this is the first uh, attempt at it, so hopefully they get more. It Rev, what a fun deck. And this is just the auto, which, uh, by the way, guys, is very similar to the real GG version. Uh, so there's just, and what's cool is there's a little uh, different, so what's it called, um, uh, tech stuff to it. So, whoops. Ooh, I forgot to put the deck stuff. I'm sorry, guys, the deck tracker. So you didn't have it. I forgot to turn it off. Oh, well, I'll have it next time. But yeah, Rev, I definitely think... Uh, I'll look around. I think Craven has been eh, He really don't get much value out of him. Uh, the rest is pretty good. The only thing is, what would I replace with Craven? What other good two drop you think? I'll have to think of it, man. We'll think of it. That's always the question. Yes, sir. Oh, look at this uh, variant. That's freaking badass. But uh, yeah, Rev, I love it. It's a good deck. Appreciate the thing. Uh, next session, we'll probably play some more of it. Maybe a different build. Or we could uh, go back to your lock drawer. We could play some some more. Oh, well, of course, Agent uh, well, Homeboy. Agent, uh, this deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have a lot. Too. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of stuff. It's the meta is pretty healthy right now. I love this card. It's actually pretty good. This deck's been really good for me. Uh, Claw. If you, I don't know if you watched my release video. I recorded one without you because I wanted to get the Agent stuff out ASAP. Uh, we could do that next time. Um. He's been freaking truck. Are you playing Cerebro Four. Or something, yes, or? and it's this deck's been doing really well. You have two key cards for nasty locations. You have, of course, you have to have Luke Cage with Cerebro decks because it's just any kind of ma nasty uh, oh. debuff. And yeah, I like the I like the Mysterio. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool, especially if he gets buffed, dude. It's so nice. Yeah. Anyways, then we have this one, which is a really cool version of it as well the only thing is i don't i know bass is good for like if you don't have agent venom but i mean she's meant for like your first one turn one optimal 
But uh, yeah, yeah, this is a really cool ver- uh, version two, and, and Havoc's been seeing a little bit of play, which is good. I like this. It's finally starting to play some cards that aren't traditionally see play. And yeah, right now, Marvel Snap's meta yeah. is pretty interesting. A lot of people are uh, bitching about Hella, which I know you've made some comments on Discord about, right? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but she can be beat. It's just like yeah, it can it can be beat. It's just it's like. Uh little casino you know yeah but it's kind of like good. where are the cards gonna go yeah sometimes it's they a little go RNG. Wide. sometimes it goes wide and you win sometimes it goes tall but in the wrong lane like you know it's like it's kind of eh. right and oh what was i gonna Not tell the you? most satisfying play experience yeah and it's kind of hard to like like you said counter it like chung chi or something like that when you don't know where we're uh infinite and all that kind of jazz is gonna be oh but a quick thing uh when the new mode's out, we'll definitely be making a couple videos of that. I I'm, think it's going to be a lot of fun. Do you, Rev? It, it depends what kind of deck's going to be. Is it going to be greedy decks, more low-end decks, like low numbers? Do you think... It depends on how much energy you get, right? Yeah, and that's it's all, uh, hard to quantify. Yeah, because yeah, like, what if you go in there with a bunch of six-drop decks? Well, that probably wouldn't be the optimal, but you don't ever get six energy. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting turn three i think it's going to be good because a lot of people aren't playing conquest anymore because i don't know conquest is exactly the anti uh snap because snap's supposed to be like quick games in succession or something like that this one's just a drag and one thing they need to do is get rid of the uh caches with the with the toke uh, was it called the gold tickets i hate that but hopefully they remove it one day all right russ we got a plan next session we'll definitely do uh some agent venom and then, when is the event starting? Do you know? I for, I don't remember the date. Is it soon? I think it's like a week out, right? Yeah, so we'll definitely be doing that, guys, as well. I know, too bad we can't record Rev gameplay like we used to. With, uh, what's it called? Uh, Hearthstone, he doesn't have a computer, so unfortunately, we can't do that. But if we could, it'd be awesome to see his uh, gameplay. And plus, he gets a higher ranking than I do, so that would be really, really cool to see him uh having fun yeah, I'm a and, bit of a grinder yeah he's a bit of a grinder not me i like to i don't stick to one deck and splits i need to get better at that because you're right some of these variants i have a badass would love to uh get them gold or uh inked and i hope that thinking of which i hope they add those other uh aqua thing and stuff soon because it, you saw the other variants that are coming out i can't wait for those splits to come out too like the aqua the fire that yeah i can't wait for those but who knows when they're going to do that? Probably, maybe in the next month or two. For nah, uh, dude, I've I've been saying it forever, man. We need um, and they're they're kind of starting to do it now with borders, right? There's like the the venomized borders. Yeah. Uh, but I've been saying it forever. We need um, splits that are themed around uh, you know, the Avengers or oh, uh, I agree. Or or the, or or the Sinister Six. Like, it'd be cool. One hundred percent. Unique collectible. Uh, borders for their team and you know what or you know or let's two that'd be super cool you know what else they're missing out on because dc dual force even though it's not around what they had is player mats basically the backgrounds or they're going to have it uh, before got canned the, the the basically the the screen or the player you know the board whatever you want to call it and snap you could buy your own background so the dc dual force had comic scenes right so you could put panels and customize mm-hmm. it why haven't they done that for Snap? That is a lucrative... People love that stuff. That's a lucrative extra income that they could have for the game. And I'm surprised they haven't done it. So, yeah. Yeah. Whatever like, happened to Dual Force anyways? It just didn't do that well. The, it kind of fizzled out. Yeah. yeah. The problem was... It, it was exec- well, not that. Is It was pushed out before it was ready. So the client was really buggy. Mm-hmm. They didn't go mobile. They didn't have the mobile one released, which is critical for a card game you have to have a mobile guys and uh they did pc first which you know props to them for doing that i don't mind it but if you're making a mobile game you have to be i mean a card game, you have to be on mobile and the publisher was having a lot of financial problems so they rushed it out it didn't do so well they didn't give them enough money to market it and well you know you put two and two together and then just like sony with concord they just decided instead of let it grow organically which it could have they're like, ah, pull the plug. But they were having issues financially, so I guess that was their best decision. But, like, 
Yeah. Like Sony, man, I'm surprised that they, they invested so much money into Concord. Why didn't they just try free to play? Try, but I don't know. They make these decisions. They, I think, uh, I think what happened with Concord is, uh, they had, uh, they had the beta testing and, yeah. uh, only like a couple thousand players. Yeah. Like I actually like logged into the, uh, the open beta. So yeah, at that, that point good... they saw like the writing yeah. was on the wall, like, Oh crap. Like, people aren't excited enough about our game yeah like and then the sales came out and they're like oh yeah <laughs> that confirmed it yeah and it's <laughs> interesting because you're right a lot of companies right now like you were saying on discord there don't value double a i think now that's a reality call uh even sony said that triple a games are not gonna make so many of them anymore because the uh, cost of development's just skyrocketing and uh yeah so they're gonna definitely um scale back on that and you're right single player games i think are it's something that uh, these companies yeah. need to... and it's like st stuff like this stuff like this is obvious to you and me right because we don't have a financial stake in it yeah we can just look at it from the outside looking in as impartial observers but yeah. all of these big developers and publishers I think they can make all of the money and that they can just they will yeah. but the reality is like only like one or two developers can no it's that, true yeah have that level of success and a lot of these, another, before we wrap it up, another thing too is like, uh, I like ASIMs. And the problem with the ASIM genre is Dead by Daylight's a tyrant, which is fine. It's a great game. The issue is every publisher and developer out there wants to challenge, challenge or, or get a huge piece of that pie, but no one could touch Dead by Daylight for a couple of reasons. One, it's established. Two, it just has the licenses, man. Every, like they just had the Castlevania license uh, chapter, huge success. So it's, I mean, I don't know the numbers, but from the looks of it, it's been a huge success since it's, you see it so much in the game. But the thing is, the, yeah. these developers should just make a good product, a fun product, do their own thing, and they can be successful. The problem is these suits and executives only look at numbers, man, and they want they want huge success, and they over. I think they overshoot or over. Uh, the expectations are too high, over, and then over promise, under deliver. Yeah. yeah, and I think a lot. I hopefully like Concord and these other games that are failing. I hope it's a wake up call for the industry. I don't know if it's gonna be. We could talk hours on that, but uh, yeah, they need to. They need to uh, get their get a, their heads into bearing, or whatever you want to call it, because yeah, because it. Yeah, it, it, it's not like it's not like gaming as a as a hobby is shrinking or anything. No, it's just they're spending money in stupid ways. Oh, exactly. All right, guys, we're going to end this now. Next up, more Agent Venom coming up, and then we'll definitely be doing some of this deck again, and also the. I'm looking forward to the event. Rev and I will hopefully get a lot of games in in a video, and we'll see you next time. Good night.